What's up everybody, it's Jeremy here from Oceanbound. I really just wanted to talk about Frontside 360s and how they literally have been giving me a headache. I've had three sessions so far where I focused on them. They were all in East Winds and so I was able to set up a camera at the dock at Pleasure Bay and I figured, you know, if I could see what I'm doing wrong, you know, that would help and y'all deserve, you know, more than the same two angles that you always get anyway. So I'm, I'm doing this for us. The first session went well. Well, as well as you'd expect a first session to go, I really need to break the seal, and that's what it did. I, I was stoked. The second session was also good. I was able to focus on some of the things after watching the footage from day one. You know, I was leaning back too far. I know the wing needs to be lower. I know I need to have that back hand closer to my hip. All good things. It's funny. Me and Paul are both trying these now, and I think the same thing's happening to both of us. I know all of the parts of the maneuver. I know things to focus on. I watch the Duotone Academy app, I watch videos on YouTube, I make notes, I make plans. Before my session, I mentally picture things that I want to focus on. I've watched a video and they say, start the rotation at the apex of the jump. Well, this all just totally goes out the window approximately as soon as my foil leaves the water. I wish this wasn't the case, and I try to keep as many things in my mind as possible, but my mind just pretty much goes blank as soon as I get out of the water. It's very zen. You could probably use it as a window into Satori, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to do frontside 360. So if I do two steps forward on day one, and maybe another step forward on day two, well, day three, I felt like I took 10 steps backwards. It's so frustrating. My body just didn't want to rotate. I tried a bunch of times and I got worked. And to make it worse, Paul comes in like halfway through my session and his like second jump is better than any of the jumps that I've done so far. Ugh. So it was a hard session, but I was able to turn around at the end by kind of changing my outlook. Paul looked like he was landing them, but he was really landing a 180 and then swinging the wing around in the water. And that kind of made me realize that the first part of a 360 is basically a 180. And the second 180 is where you throw the wing around and that kind of helps you complete the rest of the maneuver. So then I started breaking them up as a 180 and then I have to try to get the wing around. So I can't tell you how much simpler that is for me because a landing a 180 is kind of easy. And the good thing about 180s, I don't tend to lean back as much and my board is more flat. So I finished my sesh you know, with a few of those and with a little more hope, simultaneously kind of feeling drained, both mentally and physically. But the bigger issue from that sesh is that I started to get a headache, which just hasn't gone away since. Advil just isn't really touching it, and I pretty much just hit my head hard a few times on the water. So is this headache a concussion? I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. I've gone through the symptoms of mild concussions and the headache is really the only one that I've noticed. I mean, there's some things on there like fatigue, uh, you know, issues falling asleep, loss of focus. I mean, those are all things that have consistently been in my life since my first kid was born. And they haven't really gotten any worse in the last week. So I talked to a friend of mine who's in sports medicine and I showed him the video and he was like, listen, you have the activity, you pretty much have the proof and you're feeling a symptom after it. It's a concussion. So, so what do I do now? I'm resting, I'm drinking fluids, electrolytes, eating healthy, just trying to take it easy. I'm gonna hope that the headache goes away gradually and quickly. And as headaches go, I can kind of control this one more or less. I feel like when it's coming on, I can relax my mind and body and it can just go away. So per my friend's advice, once the symptoms go away, in a few days, I'll slowly start ramping up my activity and pay attention to see if anything comes back at all. I don't wanna re-injure myself with some catastrophic catastrophic re-injure you while my brain is trying to recover. I like my brain, it's my friend. And FYI, the, the next video or two happened after my last 360 attempts, but I had not really realized at that point that this could be a concussion until after that second sesh, as the headache had not gone away. Luckily, it didn't take any hard falls. So I'm not gonna stop doing 360s altogether, uh, but I'm being mindful. I'll wing again when my headache's gone, and I'll start doing 360s, you know, only after a few days of increasing my activity with like good results. The good news is we don't have a ton of wind coming up. And once I get back, I'll try breaking things up, you know, like I said, into 180s, which is much more landable for me. So thus a safer bet and a little less dangerous. If I can keep my board flat, I'm not falling backwards as much onto my head. 
And listen, I feel fine, everyone, except for this headache. But, you know, so you don't need to worry about me. I'm cool. I just figured I'd give a transparent update on my progression in case you guys are interested. Frontside 360s are actually a real pain. So that's it. More wave videos coming soon where I'm stoked rocking out on the MA1000. If you want to see some more of those and you haven't done so already, please consider clicking that subscribe button, drop a comment, say hi, let me know what you think. And with that, I hope all of you guys are doing well out there. I'll see you soon on the flip. And I wish you all an awesome day. Later.